Hello everyone, welcome to The Lazy Chef. Well, today Bob and I would like to introduce our new toy. This is a Phineas Fizzenick, our new mixer. Now I chose this one because it wasn't expensive, but it had really good reviews on Amazon. So I will be putting the link below to um, Amazon UK um, so you can find one for yourself if you like it. Today we're going to be making my mum's classic Victoria sponge or it could be called jam gate because my mum really likes raspberry jam. I can't stand raspberry jam. So I'm going to be using cherry jam. I'm really sorry mumsy uh, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise the cake is exactly how my mum makes it I hope. So anyway let's get cooking. Enjoy. So here we are. This cake is going to be an all-in-one, of course, um, because I'm so lazy, I like to do all-in-ones. So really, all you have to do is throw your margarine, that's eight ounces, 225 grams of stalk margarine I'm using, eight ounces, 225 grams of sugar. Then we want four large eggs. bit different this is what makes this mumsy's classic uh, here, here we have six ounces that's 170 grams of self-raising flour and two ounces of custard powder I'm using birds custard powder throw that in and that will give you your vanilla flavor without putting vanilla essence in also makes it a lighter sponge in here we have a pinch of salt and a heap tablespoon of baking powder. That's going to go in there. And now just do this little gadgety thing here. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on really gently to start with because I don't want flour going everywhere. And you want to mix this up as always until it is a nice, light, creamy batter. scrape down there, put it back on again, give it a good So as you can see it's lovely and light and creamy now, that's exactly how we want it. So I've greased and lined two eight inch cake tins here. I love these liners, you just get them cut like this, it's brilliant. And you take your lovely mix and try and divide it in half. The custard powder makes it lovely and yellow, it's absolutely gorgeous. I can remember when I was young, birds used to do a golden baking powder, um, which used to make the cakes go like this. Sadly, you can't get it anymore. Just spread out your mixture. So, these are ready to go into an oven. 175 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll see how they come out. So I forgot to tape that. What I've done is I've put my cherry jam in the middle here. Sorry mumsy, I know it's not raspberry jam but you know it's your cake with a twist. So that is what jam gate is. Uh, Mum was not amused uh, but there we are that's what we've done. So as usual, I forgot to record, and um, but we're done now. Uh, sprinkle your sugar on the top. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is the cake. As you can see, it's a lovely yellow colour. Cherry jam looks great, by the way, Mumsy. 
and I'm not going to try it because I'm fasting but um, it's a lovely cake so I do hope you'll make it, it's such a classic. And, uh, why I call my mum Mumsy, uh, when I was a little girl I used to get the Beano every week which I absolutely loved and in the Beano is a character called Walter the Softy and he used to call his mum Mumsy so that's where um, that comes from. <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed that video, I hope you make the cake as always and if you do please let me know, um, give me a little comment um, on the bottom of the video that would be really great. Um, please subscribe and please share if you wouldn't mind, that would be really helpful to me. Um, and we will see you again in the next video. Um, so take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for coming. Bye.